I want to ask you a few questions today about gender inequality and the social paradox of gender. Do you believe a person's gender and a person's sex are the same thing? Explain. Well, I think someone's gender is determined by if they're male or female, and also their sex is determined by whether they're male or female. So yes, I think they're the same. Now, what about people who feel unnatural in their gender role? I feel that there are people that may feel that way and in today's society it's possible to change your gender like through surgery and things like that because some people don't feel like mentally satisfied with the gender they were given at birth. So you probably heard about Bruce Jenner transforming into Caitlyn Jenner. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's really amazing that Bruce is able to transform himself into the person that he wanted to be because he's not satisfied with the sexuality he was given at birth. So I think it's really amazing that in today's society, anyone could be who they want to be. Do you think the beliefs of society had any impact on Bruce's transformation? Were there any pressures or anything? I believe society played a huge role in Bruce's decision of announcing his transformation because not only was he about to change his gender, but he was also in the limelight. So it really affected like whether he was gonna do it or not. and. I feel like a lot of people are judgmental of what he did, but there's also a lot of supporters. So it's like the society played a big role, but it also provided like mixed feelings about his transformation. Do you think there's any inequality or are any stereotypes associated with transgenders? If so, can you please explain a few? I think transgenders do face a lot of inequality in society. Um, they're sometimes seen as like special cases, like people like aren't sure how to react to them or like interact with them. They're scared to approach them and just stare at like there's a lot of stereotypes against them like they have to be drag queens or like certain things that they're not they're just trying to be themselves but people find it a point to judge them and outcast them because they're unsure about their sexuality so it makes people uncomfortable do you believe a person's gender and a person's sex are the same thing explain honestly i don't i think that a person's gender is what they identify with and a person's sex is what they were born with so for the people who feel unnatural in their gender role, what do you think they should do? I think that they should be completely open about it with their friends and family and be hopefully accepted by their friends and family and be able to change into whatever gender they feel comfortable with. You probably heard about Bruce Jenner's transformation into Caitlyn Jenner, correct? What are your thoughts on that? Um, I did hear about him and honestly, uh, I feel that he's a different case to other transgenders because I honestly think that being affiliated with the Kardashians, he's just definitely doing this for attention. But I think that obviously other transgender people that aren't in the spotlight all the time, definitely it's a different situation. Do you think the beliefs of society had any impact on Bruce's transformation? I honestly think that society has definitely rallied behind Bruce Jenner and his transformation to Caitlyn because of the fact that he's become an icon for the transgender community everywhere and they really needed a celebrity to take their cause and put it in the limelight. limelight. So yeah, I think that he definitely had a lot of um, impact with society. Now do you think there's any inequality or are there any stereotypes associated with transgenders and if so can you explain a few i definitely think that there's a lot of inequality that happens with transgenders just because of the fact that um people are like uncomfortable i guess because they don't understand exactly what transgenders are going through and that's why transgenders tend to like stick with their own community of people and it's just very, um, there's not very many transgender rights out there right now. Like I know that we've made a lot of steps in gay rights, but transgenders have kind of been left behind. And so yeah.